Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about The Sims 3, which makes me very happy. I have been playing a lot of Sims 3 over the past few weeks, just trying to like relax and hang out and unwind. And it has been so much fun. And there are nine very specific small details that like don't matter that much, but matter a lot to me that I would really like to see in The Sims 4, even though some of them are like, a little bit outdated and completely unnecessary. They're just little things that I would just love, absolutely love. If you enjoy this video at any point throughout, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. My goal for 2022 is to hit 100K and I don't know if that's gonna happen because I'm scared, but I would really, really love for that to happen. So if you can help make that happen, I would appreciate it so, so much. So when we're talking about like small things, these are literally small things that like don't actually matter and don't impact the game that much, but like I just enjoy them. So the first thing on this list, actually the first two things on this list are like a little outdated, a little unnecessary, but they just add a little bit of flair to my game. And honestly, when I play with elders, I would love to have these things as well. So those things are landline phones and newspapers. Every day in The Sims, I believe The Sims 1, 2, and 3, you would get a newspaper delivered to your home. And if you didn't recycle this newspaper, they would just kind of like pile up until the newspaper person was like, I'm not delivering you anymore, you're disgusting. And then you would have to like recycle them and then be able to get more, which was kind of fun. But on this newspaper in The Sims 3, you can look for a job, you can look for like discounted classes you can go take and just kind of like see the happenings of the world, which is kind of fun. I just find that having something that's delivered every single day to your Sims just makes it feel like a more dynamic and real world. And I would love to just have like the little paper kid come and deliver things again. That's so cute. And I loved when they would come because it was always a child and they would come up to the door and they would be like, mm, here you go. And I would make my Sims be friends with them. <laughs> it's like, it's really hard to make friends in The Sims. So I was just like, yeah, I'm going to be friends with the paper boy. Absolutely. But having newspapers delivered was really fun. And it felt like a more real way to get a job because now you have every job available to you. But back then you would only have a couple to choose from every day and they would change. So it was more like looking in the classified section, which I think is really fun. And when it comes to landlines, I just like having a phone at home. Like I would like the option to like disable children's phones so that my kids don't have phones. Obviously I would give them to like teens and young adults and adults, but I would like it if like I could disable them if I wanted to. If I wanted a sim who's like a total technophobe, I don't wanna have a cell phone. I don't want people to be able to call me, but then maybe you have like a home phone, like a landline on your wall or just one of those ones that's like sitting on the table. And like you can call if you need to, but it's completely unnecessary for you to live to have a cell phone. And it's just one of those little details like having an elder that doesn't have a cell phone but has a landline just feels so real and I just wish that we could do that even just as an option but it's not even an option in the game. The next small detail is the ability to decorate your bathtubs and having to actually buy your sims bubble bath. So in The Sims 3 you could actually go over to like get groceries and there was a home section and in this section you could purchase candles and rubber duckies and bubble bath and if you brought these into your sims bathtub it would like decorate the bubble bath with the rubber ducky on the side, the candle on the other side and then it would give you the ability to have bubble baths because you had bubbles. This was really cute because sometimes your sims will interact with the rubber ducky and the bubbles just make baths more fun. And I like that it's a thing you have to do. Instead of just having the option to have a bubble bath, you have to actually go spend the money to be able to do it, which I just think is wholesome and adorable. And the ability to like decorate with things that you have to purchase is just fun. <laughs> I really like candles and I really like bubble baths and I really, honestly, rubber duckies are really cute. So I'd be down to have a rubber ducky sitting on my bathtub to play with while I'm bored. But these are like the tiny details that like you add these things and you're just like wholesome, adorable. I wish I could do that in The Sims 4. The next detail is something that I didn't even realize back when I was playing The Sims 3 all of those years ago. And I actually just noticed like a couple of weeks ago because I was like, that looks different than before. So what happens in The Sims 3 with bookcases is that if there are no books in the bookcase, the bookcase is like empty. But as your Sims like purchase more books and buy more and they put them in there and you know, they're storing all of their books, there's actually like levels to which this happens and levels to which your bookcases are decorated. So it'll start off completely empty and then it'll be like super full and just look so cute. And it honestly, for me, adds to like the feeling of your Sims being poor and like starting out as a brand new family or like just finishing college. And then like as they grow and age, they kind of like get more things and their home feels more homey and decorated. And I love that. It's just something so small because I don't like buying a bookcase and it being completely full. I want to be able to like have it be dynamic and you know your sim goes off and gets some skill books or just buys books to read for fun and then they end up with all of these books in their bookcase and it just looks so pretty. The next thing is the ability to choose a favorite food. Now we are, have gotten, you know, 
we've gotten the likes and dislikes system in The Sims 4, so we're a step closer. But in The Sims 3, you could pick like a favorite food, a favorite color, a favorite music genre. And when your Sims would pick a favorite food, for example, this Sims' favorite food is waffles, if they were to go cook this food and sit down to eat it, they actually like physically get excited. Like there's like a little animation, it is so stinking cute, where they get more excited to eat their favorite food than any other food in the game. This is the kind of stuff I love to see because it's not just like a moodlet, you know, they're not just like, oh, my favorite food, here's a happy moodlet, or like, oh, my favorite decor, here's a happy moodlet. Like, I would love for a sim to walk up to something if they like mid-century modern decor and they walk up to something that's mid-century and they get excited. Like, that's what I want to see in the game. I want it to feel like these are people, not just pixels. The next thing has to do with children and their homework, and that is the ability for your sims to actually copy homework from other sims. So let's say that child A is doing their homework, it's almost done, they leave it on the table to like go eat dinner or go play with their friend and they're gonna finish it later. Child B is able to walk in, grab their homework book and copy their homework. And I think that's hilarious because that's something that I would 100% do if I would have had a sibling who was around the same age as me. The best part about this is that the sim whose homework was copied can actually come in and like get mad at the other sim and like shoo them away from it. And it's just really precious because it's like such a sibling relationship. If you're the same age and you copy their homework, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna fight you. And I just like that. It just brings me a lot of joy and I would love to be able to do that in The Sims 4. I just want there to be more like cute sibling relationships like that where they can like get mad at each other and stuff. I don't know if that's a weird thing to want, but it's something that I very much desire. The next thing on this list is the ability to change your Sims ringtones, which really only matters if you're actually playing with the sound on. But this is a fun one because if you are playing with your sound on, you can have your Sims ringtones all be different so that when their phones go off, you actually can tell whose it is. And it gives your Sims a little bit more personality in this way. In The Sims 4, the only option we have is to silence their phone, but I find that even that doesn't even work sometimes, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, you don't actually have the option to change ringtones and stuff. And as somebody who doesn't play with the sound on often, I do like to have these little details for when I do decide to just sit and zone out and play The Sims and actually listen to everything going on. I really wish we had that just tiny little detail to have different ringtones. The next thing on this list is something I always talk about and that is school buses. I hate the walk off the lot disappear of The Sims 4. I'm not a fan. I really wish we still had a carpool system or school buses or something to come pick up our kids. It just really bothers me. And the school buses in The Sims 3 are actually really wonderful because you can watch your kids. Like they get on the school bus at school, they drive all the way home because it's an open world and then they come to your home. The one funny thing is my kids got off the bus and then the bus did like a full spin and technically would have like hit one of them with the back of its bus and also drove all over this family's grass so I thought that was a funny detail but just having school buses makes it feel like your sims are going to school and not just like disappearing off into a rabbit hole like it makes it just adds to the suspension of disbelief like it just makes you feel so much more connected and like it's actually happening as opposed to them just disappearing which is something I've never liked in the sims 4. The final thing on this list is all of the non-woohoo bed interactions that we have in the sims 3. In this game if your sims are relaxing they're able to like cuddle and make out if they want to and all of this other really cute stuff. I don't know, I just want like a whole grouping of romantic interactions that are different. I want them to be able to slow dance, I want them to like serenade each other. There are so many little things that I just miss. I miss Goose the most from old Sims games, but there are a ton of little interactions that I would love to see again, especially ones in bed, especially because your Sims can also just like snuggle. And I just miss the ability for them to just like cuddle up and be really precious and adorable in bed and instead of just like sleeping in woohoo. I just want Sims to feel real and like the relationships actually mean something. But there you have it guys, those are my nine small details from The Sims 3 that I wish were in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if there's any other little details from The Sims 3 that you missed, would love to see in The Sims 4. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye everybody.